Um, so well, is one um, that was a great um, segue, Katrina. Um, with the uh, millions more movement disaster management training program that actually came out of Katrina because members um, of Congress went to Minister Farrakhan and said, can you all provide training because you are the only organization who, uh, who actually we have been doing um, community-based disaster management training for the past, at that time it was 70 years, but it was kept in-house just for the FOI and MGT, not for the community. And so the minister called, um, <coughs> called me to ask me if I would head with this program to actually take it outside of the nation, take it to the churches, take it to the mosque, take it to the synagogues, take it to the Quakers, I've taken it to the Catholics, I've taken it to the Amish, I've taken it to the, um, um, even, uh, to the Asians. And so now what we do is we are providing training, not just talking and oh have a kid, everybody know that. We're doing like the I love it. Um, it's like the Mormons do. We're starting to train our children very early in the area of emergency management, but also making high-level training and cross-training with state, um, with well, local officials, with your international agencies, with the United Nations agencies, with, with um, governments and others. So we've been doing this for 25 years and we certify our people. And also, Mayor, I want to tell you that your city um, can call on all our trainers at any time. We bring in our own resources. We have our own supplies. We have our whole system set up and plus, we work with all of the local NOVAS. We're not here to ask you for a grant, to ask you um, for a check. This is our second training that we're going to do. And by the way, we have children in our training starting at age two. Many of the people who is in this crowd um, have been trained. And um, let's see, as a matter of fact, Brother Paul, he was one of my students from, what, 15 years ago. So like I said, this isn't something we have advertised, but we have took this training and have cross-trained with all agencies. I'm talking about, like I said, FEMA, we've, we've cross-trained with Red Cross, we've I mean, cross-trained with governments and others who will come in to help your city and your states because Katrina showed something for the first time we had to bring in international aid agencies, right, Stan? For the first time, this country normally, we go out and we help other countries, but we had, I mean, all other countries from the United Nations come into our countries to handle Katrina victims. Well, guess what? If we were trained to do that, I mean, um, that wouldn't have been necessary. So that's what I'm here to do. So all those people based here in the U.S. can handle those issues. And plus something else, we're here for the responders. We're here um, for the National Guard. We're here for the police officers because they have families. And so, so many police officers blew their brains out during Katrina and lost family members, even some of the, um, the emergency managers, correct? Lost parents and families. So that's what we're here for. We're here now to bring resources. But like um, what Anthony just said, though, when you call us, one, you don't call brother so-and-so or so, so so You have to go to the top to actually one is to activate me. 
And then when I come in, I will verify. Whoever comes in have been trained and certified. I will check the records, find out their qualifications, and then we can take it from there. But yet, there's only one person who can activate me to actually call on the resources from this country. And I mean, we have the whites, the blacks, the Mormons, everybody on board with us who will come in to help us and you and other states and also bring their own resources. That's what I wanted to let you know. So, you all have a direct line. That is absolutely awesome. Because, and, and I'm gonna let Stan sort of chime in, because one of the things that, when, when we look at the government entity, one of the things that we're, we're pulling in, we're pulling in what you call NGOs. And I'm gonna let Stan sort of talk about that a little bit. And, and that becomes extremely, extremely important in what we're doing to try to make emergency management, uh, and, and this is Stan's favorite word, he's trying to make it a program. It's not, it's, it's not a one movement sort of thing, but it's an actual program where all agencies, whether they're governmental, non-governmental, and matter of fact, we have a representative from the American Red Cross in the audience, but, but all of these agencies coming together. So, so Stan, if you just speak a little bit on um, how, how the NGOs fit into what we're doing from a governmental standpoint. Well, it's, and anything else you'd like to add to you. It's complicated. People say, what is emergency management? You know, you hear the word, you hear the term, you might see it in the newspaper or hear it on TV. What is emergency management? It can either be a verb or a noun. At this age, I take the glasses off to read. I'm sure some of you will understand that. But what is it? You know, okay, I've got it printed out here. Emergency management, the science of managing complex systems, and multidisciplinary personnel to address emergencies and disasters across all hazards. We take an all-hazard approach in Illinois. It doesn't matter what the event is, it's all hazard, we approach it the right way. And through the phases of mitigation, preparedness, response, and recovery, and protection has been added. That's how we do it, this is science. And we look at organized analysis, planning, decision making, and assignment of available resources to mitigate prepare for, respond to, and recover from the effects of all hazards. The goal of emergency management is to save lives, prevent injuries, and protect property and environment if an emergency occurs. And we know that preparedness, as I, I say to Mr. Benson, preparedness is the key to response and recovery. If you are actually prepared, and preparedness is a continuous basis, I can respond and recover. You say, okay, what's preparedness? Couple items here, activities, programs, and systems developed and implemented prior to a disaster or emergency that are used to support and enhance mitigation, which is removing the threat from the hazard, response and recovery from disasters and emergencies. One last thing on preparedness, the range of deliberate critical tasks and activities necessary to build, sustain, speaking sustain, and improve the operational capability to prevent, protect against, respond to, and recover from domestic incidents. And preparedness is a continuous approach. 